Well, we made hard work a lot, but we got there in the end. 2-1 win over Pompey. I can't even come on here and say we really deserved it, because we probably didn't, but do I care? Absolutely not. It's about getting points in this league. We probably were in games last season that you think we could have had something and or we deserved to get something and we got nothing, so take what we can get. It's two weeks in a row we've probably come out of a game and thought, well, mm, have we deserved to win, but we've got six points, so who cares? That's what it's about, getting out of the league, putting points on the board, getting and moving on. So it's, it's on to next week now. This game's immaterial. And to be honest, the sooner we forget about it, the better, because it, it would really... It, we were so poor. It's like... We're just so poor. I, I mean, I don't care because we've won, but let's like call a spade a spade. We, we were poor. Like, it's just... I said on Twitter before the game and like... People disagree with me, that's fine, like, but I think I was vindicated and I was right. Hannibal shouldn't be playing in this team as a 10. Like, at Leeds, yeah, different game, tactical, need players off the ball, someone combative, get round the pitch, put tackles in, yeah, perfect. Hannibal's your 10 in that game where you need to shore things up, it's a different kind of game. If we go to Chef U, Hannibal's your 10, but Pompey at home... You don't need Cullen, Brownell, Hannibal. But it's no coincidence that after Hannibal went off, the, we were better. The last half an hour, we were all right. And it's because he went off and the game opens up. The whole complexion of the game changed. Because he, he's just... You just don't need him. He's just a body that doing nothing. Like, if we're going to be honest, in three games, he showed nothing that, to suggest he should start. Like... He, all right, he, he, what? He pissed some Leeds fans off. Fantastic! Like, what's that in football terms? Like, it's not, it's not worth anything. So, like, he's got to come to the party a little bit if he wants to keep his place in the team. To me, it's gone now. Like, Fleming's the number ten. Foster, who did nothing to be honest, is the number nine because he's the only one we've got. And then it's Brownell and Cullen behind because you can't break them two up. You just can't. And Brownell, again, there today in the Championship, he's a different beast in the Championship when he's playing in his actual position, which is the eight, as I've said before. So, unfortunately for Hannibal, I don't really see where he fits in in a lot of games, especially over the next few weeks when we've got a lot of winnable ones. I, I just don't see it. But, listen, we we were miles better like last half hour, but... I think it just glosses over what was a poor performance. Like I said last week, that the Leeds game suited us because tactically, Parker gets it. We've not been together long as a team. So them tactical games where we can train in the week, set up for it, it, it it's the sort of games that we'd like and games we'll excel in this season. But games where teams are going to sit in and we have to break them down, it, they're going to be difficult for us in the first... Probably... Two, three months of the season, as they were under company, where like we just struggled to break teams down. And today, again, we've had two pop shots from outside the area that have gone in and won us the game. Like that's what it took today. We didn't create anything really, like clear cut. I don't think that you think, God, yeah, you should have scored that. But we've had two like moments from outside the area that have won us the game. And like I know the cliche, will be like a load of people will be saying it on Twitter, and I don't buy into football cliches really, but. When they say that's what champions do, that's what champions do. You don't turn up and you win You win a game, and that's all it's about. It's about getting out of the league, winning games, and getting back where we want to be, which is the Prem. No one wants to be stuck in the championship forever. I know there's no VAR and we can play Blackburn and that, but no one wants to be in the championship forever. Or no like, proper football fan wants to be in the championship. You want to be testing yourself against the best, play at the best level have the best players in your team, play against the best players. Like You want to be in the Premier League. No one wants to be in the Championship forever. I think you're kidding yourself if you think you are. So it's another step in the right direction. Loads to work on on the training pitch, breaking teams down, because Oxford's going to be the exact same next week. We're, we're going there, they'll sit in. If they get a goal again like Pompey did today, it becomes twice as hard. So it's about... Like how them patterns of play, like how do we break teams down? But I do think, hopefully, he's learned that you can't break a side down with Hannibal because it's that's not what he's good at. He, he's just not a number ten. 
he wants to play deeper, but you're not breaking the other two up, so you're going to be on the bench and bring him on if we're 1-0 up or 2-0 up or something like that and you're defending a lead. That's his, his role in the squad for me in certain games. Like, we need to go to Oxford next week and, like, take the game to them. Don't wait for him to go 1-0 up and say, all right, I'm going to have to put Fleming on now. No, put Fleming on from the beginning. Start with Fleming. And we'll go 1-0 up and then we'll, we'll dictate the game. Like, that's what we're, we're going to have to do. But plenty to work on for Parker on the training field. Just them patterns of play in the final third. And, like, we are struggling to break teams down, but... We'll get there in the end. We got there in the company. We're winning games. That's the main thing. But yeah, plenty to work on, and we we will get better. So just, just enjoy tonight, and then ready for Oxford in in a week's time, hopefully.